Yo. Ha ha. Uh, Bill uh, Nicholson. What is good, YouTube? Your boy, Bill Nipperson, is back with another quick sneaker review. And today we got the Yeezy 350 MX Oath now, or Mix Series, I'm going to call it. So what they did was basically just took a mixture of different colors. I want to say about three or four, four different colors, blend them together, and just released the shoe, right? And it has like a wave length or some type of wave design, I want to say, zigzaggy, zaggy whatever you want to call it, that sits on a prime net, a breathable prime net upper. But there were certain things about this release that I kind of want to talk about because on the surface, it looks just like your regular, regular Yeezy 350. The 350 the same, looks the same, yada, yada, yada. But I noticed that Kanye and Adidas, they've been tweaking the Yeezy 350 without people really realizing it. I'm going to say that to say this. So here's the Yeezy 350 Carbons. Sometimes when they release these uh, Yeezy 350s, people say, hey, go up a half size, a full size, whatever the case is. In this case, if you notice that towards the toe area, you know, you see how widened the, the Yeezy 350 carbon is? So I'm going to say that to say this. Sometimes when they do these Yeezy 350s, if you look at the design and look at towards the toe, you notice that the Yeezy 350 Black Static has a more narrowish right, design than the Easy 350 Carbon. This is kind of rounded a little bit. So I'm curious to see what they did with the MX series. Is it pointed like the Easy 350 Static or is it more rounded towards the toe with the Easy 350 Carbons? Pay attention to that because for somebody that has long and kind of like a wide feet, you're going to notice that when you put your feet in, specifically your big toe, it's going to feel like the prime knit is pressing down on your toe. And I have a feeling that that's the same case with the Yeezy 350 MX Oat. And even though I didn't put it on, I can tell by the design that the prime knit is gonna kind of do that. It's gonna put pressure on your, your big toe if you go a half size up. So I wear a size 12 and a half, I got a size 13. I probably should have did 13 and a half for this release, but we shall see. But stick with me, cause I'm gonna show you a little, little feature that they did with the Yeezy 350. Now we all know what time it is, the black statics, the shoelaces reflect most Yeezy 350s, if not all, the three stripes in the back, they always, always reflect. However, let's just get into the shoe because I want to show y'all exactly what they did. It went like, whew. it went, actually it went way over my head, it went way over my head. So anyway, got the big sporty goods. For getting this to me because I didn't expect to get this shoe. I just went after it and it was 7 a.m. 7 a.m. is probably the best time for anybody to get a Yeezy 350 depending on the, the amount of people or I want to say businesses that are releasing it at 7 a.m. So if you're up early, it should have been no breeze. But I think what happened was people started waking up. You know, that whole hangover effect kind of dwindled down and then for some reason the MXO just went... Bam, 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 bam. But let me show you real quick. Now, this is the box. A little dinged up, but sorry. And you can see right here, size 13. It does read MX MXO. Um, in terms of the mix, the Yeezy Mix Series, I'm, I'm pretty sure for now that the Yeezy MX Rock is supposed to release in December. So it looks like they're, they're kind of trying different things with the Yeezy 350 line. Um, so it's going to be a mixed rock in December, and it's supposed to be a mixed blue that comes out sometime next year. If it looks like this, I know this is a mock-up, mock up, I should say, but if it looks like this, I think I actually might consider getting this. I think. I think. If it looks like that, you sold me. So let's get straight to the shoe. Ooh, man. Oh. Yes, sir. The Yeezy 350 MX. Let me, let me, let me just, because I, I see this already. If you notice with most Yeezy 350s, the laces, right? Let's just concentrate on the laces. Take a look at this shoe and tell me what you see. And if you and tell me if you can actually see it live, because I'm not, of course, I'm just kind of doing this live recording, but you should be able to see it if I can see it. 
If you look at the laces, the lace actually has, I want to say like a plastic shield that's covering the lace. And you may ask, why is that? Take these laces, take the upper of the prime knit. This is a breathable prime knit that has a mixture of blue, orange, a little bit of gold, and cream, right? Rubber midsole that surrounds that Yeezy Boost on the outsole, right? Right here. So that's kind of your traditional, oh, don't forget the translucent heel tab that sits on the back. But there's another piece of importance here. If you look at the blue, the blue portions of the design is actually hardened. They covered it in plastic, and here's why. If you're looking at this video, when you take your normal light, like a camera light, and you're hovering over it, you notice that the blue lights up a little bit. It's not reflective or anything like that, but it has like a glisten to it, a glisten effect. And if you, depending on how you angle the camera, you should be able to see this right away, all around on the blue, not the orange, not the orange, not the orange, not the uh, the cream portion of the shoe, not the gold portion of the shoe, specifically the blue. And then when you look straight at the laces, the laces kind of has a guiding light where it's. It's kind of like, depending on how you angle it towards the lace, you'll see like a like a little small ray of light flowing through the, the, the laces. You, again, you'll see this. It'll make sense once you're looking at this video. And the reason why I'm kind of making this comparison, I think what I'm going to do, and I'm speaking future tense here, is that I'm going to have the Yeezy 350 MX Oat alongside with the Yeezy 350 Cloud White. So you can see what I'm talking about in terms of little small tweaks that they do to Easy 350s. And if you're looking at side by side, you notice that Easy 350 it looks like a regular Degler laces, and then the Easy 350 Cloud in terms of the Easy 350 Cloud, I should say. And when you look at the material on the Easy 350 Cloud, it has that breathable priming, but they just didn't tweak it. On the MX series, they tweaked it by giving it that glistening effect on the blue, on the laces. And of course, the 3M that you currently or will be seeing, at least on the on feet, <laughs> when I'm done with this, towards the back of the shoe. So this is what I was talking about in terms of ooh, this design. This narrow. This is narrow. So this reminds me, it's probably going to fit just like the Black Static, if anybody remembers the Black Static. Um, I have a feeling that mm, this will fit tight. It's going to fit tight. Now, it could be a thing that the more you wear it, it's going to be a little bit more stretchable. That makes sense in terms of the prime knit. But I'll make it work. And, of course, don't forget that translucent, you can see it right here, stripe that sits on top of the Easy 350 shoe. Like I said, it, it kind of caught me off guard because I was looking at the shoe like everybody else, and I was like, okay, well, this looks like a traditional Easy 350. You know, what's what's the difference outside of the the pattern the prime knit pattern that they put on the upper and i started looking at it real carefully i'm like oh my god they actually hardened the blue i was like why did they do that good old light <laughs> good old light so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do the on feet for the easy 350 mx oat regular lighting and then the kind of the special lighting so you can see exactly what i'm talking about and then you'll have a better view point uh at least from the upper and you can see it like exactly what I'm talking about. Both shoes lined up side to side with that special lighting. Not really special, but the light effect. So you can see that whole glaring or glitter effect that surrounds the upper of this shoe. So now I'm starting to see why this thing kind of sold out. And it's not your traditional tonal Yeezy 350. This is this is loud. This is a 350 we have never seen before. <laughs> so the MX Rock, I'm not sure if I'm going to get that when it comes out in December because that looks too much like the Yeezy 350 Carbon. You know, I got the, the Yeezy 350 Brez. I got the Yeezy 350 Black Static. I got enough black, brownish type of colorways where it's like, I don't really need to go that. But the Yeezy 350 MX Blue, I might be going after that. But your boy, my never said, man, comment below. Let me know if you were able to cop the Yeezy 350 MX Oat. Let me know what it feels. Does it give me like a New York Knicks type vibe? Uh, for your Mets fans, but you know, I, I can see you guys wearing this. I, I could, I could definitely see it, but it's different. It's loud. It's going to be an eye catcher, whether you like it or not. It's just one of those Yeezy 350s, the first of its kind that has a mixture of different colors with this type of pattern. So your boy, my never said, man, I am out. 
Let's do that on feet. And you guys, stay blessed.